Now, dearest America, we must say farewell. For there is much I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? Oh, wait. Vance told me I was supposed to say something special when asked that, from his teachings. Oh, right. The third law is feed not for pleasure, partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. Whew, almost forgot it again. Guess I'll see you around. Live again. But remember, America. John Clave is working around the clock to return this you wish country to speak. to Greece. You wish to speak to me again? All you need is a little patience. Indeed. A little Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Now you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Ah, yes, my newest charge. What would you want with him? Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. No, it would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. Power, wealth, prestige. What do you want? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Help? How can you help? There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? She... she really misses being home and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Hello America, 
I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. No convincing is necessary. I must say your visit is a pleasant change from what I am accustomed to when dealing with humans. In light of this, I promise you that no further harm will befall you or Erafu. Of that, you have my solemn oath. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. What about the slavers of Paradise Falls? The frighteningly irradiated ghouls of Underworld. And last but not least... The hero of the day. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arabu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Sorry, the wells run dry. Come on back soon, I may have some stuff for you. Hello there. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you for remembering. With everything that's going on, I almost forgot about it. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. I couldn't tell you, really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Oh, okay, well, anytime you find yourself back in Megaton, be sure and look me up. 